From a humble beginning, a graduate of chemistry in his early 20s, Edward Kaziri chose to pursue his career in natural medicine. I identified good eucalyptus. I picked my herbs. When I'm carrying them on the head, uh, the whole village is laughing and they are like a graduate now in the bushes. He was bewitched. <laughs> Starting with a small clinic in Rukonjiri district, his dream became a miracle and extended to the entire southwestern region, giving birth to Kazire Health Products Limited. Kazire Health Products Limited is a, an agro-processing company which started uh, in 2003. It is one of the biggest domestic food processing company in the country. Having achieved his dream in this line, Edward Kazire is now embarking on being an agent of development through agriculture. The agriculture farm, based in Tungama district in southwestern Uganda, is sitting on around 400 acres of land that includes 300 acres of banana plantation and 100 cows under zero grazing. 90% of our raw materials are agriculture based and therefore our relationship with farming is hybrid. Our intention is to grow anonymously with our customers and suppliers to the next level in all spheres of development. We are saddened by the fact that more than 90% of our suppliers and farmers are still locked in subsistence farming. This is synonymous with poverty. This predicts a declining trend in agricultural production, an issue that will affect household livelihoods and subsequently agro-processing industries. It should be noted that 70% of Uganda's population idea is to promote agriculture value chain management from primary production through all stages up to industrial stage. We would like to link the Uganda rural farmer directly to the industrialist across the globe. Our projection is to have Uganda free from poverty, food insecurity, improved health, less threat on climate, and with the efficient human capital development. The philosophy of the Kazire agriculture farm is deeply committed to improving people's livelihoods through a complete cycle of agriculture value chain. From 2003 up to 2007, when we made a decision of uh, establishing an industrial process of Kazire Health Products industry here in Mbarara, it focuses on agro-inputs and most especially the plants, vegetables and herbs which carry nutraceutical properties, that is the herbs, plants, fruits, and vegetables with the ability to induce preventive measures to disease to individuals who consume these products and to others even who find curative properties. This has been built through the community industry uh, linkages whereby more than 90% of our materials come from the communities. So we felt it was very important for Kaziri Health Products to keep focusing at improving the livelihoods of people and their communities. Because we knew that Kaziri Health Products practically improve the health of people, but if people improved their health, 
without their communities improving, it would not be a sustainable system. Because at one time, we would find the community would break down. So, and once the community break down, breaks down, the environment breaks down, then our system definitely would also break down. Relationship between the farmers and the company. Why do we say so? More than 90% of the raw materials that, that Kaze Health Products Limited uses is agriculture based. Some of the raw materials that we use are banana, we have oranges, that is citrus, we have oranges, we have lemons, we have pineapples, we have aloe vera, we have hibiscus, very many agriculture based raw materials. However, we form a strong relationship with the farmers, there is a challenge somewhere. More than 90% of our farmers or of our suppliers are practicing agriculture on a small scale. Majority of the farmers that we deal with are doing crop production on small plots of less than 0.5 hectares of land. The the technologies and the innovations they are using are very minimal. So this is the time when Kazio Health Products came in and established Kazio Agriculture Farm. This is a nucleus farm or a hub that aims at doing training, research and innovation among the farming communities. We shall attract more youth and women into commercial farming to end hunger and vulnerability in rural sub-Saharan Africa. We also look at containing the destruction of biosphere through the poor methods of farming to disseminate improved methods of farming to the widest coverage across the globe. Our future prospects aim at promoting and being part of agents of sustainable development goals. God bless you.